Now the fun begins. May I have a drink now? By all means. This is an occasion. It calls for champagne. Champagne? I put some in the icebox. Even champagne isn't equal to us or the occasion. I'll take it, though. You're not frightened anymore, are you, Philip? No. Not even of me? No. That's good. Well, come on. We don't have too much time. What's this all about? You'll see. It's, it's brilliant. What the devil are you doing? Making our work of art a masterpiece. Brandon, you're going too far. Why? What do you mean? Isn't it a good idea? You were busy in there arranging that other little touch of yours. Oh, I thought that was wonderful. Didn't you like it? No, Brandon, I didn't like it. One bit. He'll ruin everything with your neat little touches. It's the signature of the artist. Not having it would be like uh, uh, painting the picture and not hanging it. Don't think you appreciate me, Philip. I'm beginning to, Brandon. Do you realize we've actually done it exactly as we planned? And not a single infinitesimal thing has gone wrong. It was perfect. All right. You're perfect. We have to be, Philip. We agreed there was only one crime either of us could commit. The crime of making a mistake. Because it's being human? Because it's being ordinary. How are you going to explain this? We've got to have some excuse. Brandon, we've got to have an excuse for the others. All right, all right. Let me think. Really, you get much too upset much too easily, Philip. We have a very simple excuse right here. We're just moving the things in here. I'm sure you wouldn't want the poor old man to have to get down on his knees. Rupert's coming? Yeah. I thought you liked Rupert. Rupert Cadell is the one man, one man who might appreciate this from our angle, the artistic one. I, uh, I once thought of inviting him to join us. Why didn't you? The more the merrier. Because he, he hasn't the nerve. He never could have acted. That's where we're superior, Philip. We have courage. Rupert doesn't. Oh, well, you flatter me. Uh, yes. I say. Well, it's true. You always interest me, Rupert. Well, as I remember, Philip, you have a very funny That's reason. That's a lie. Philip, there's no word of truth in the whole story. What's going on, Philip? What's your theory? Mine? Yeah, I'd very much like to see myself, I may. Uh, Rupert. to look inside. Go ahead and look. I hope you like what you see. You had no business telling that story. My own words. You've thrown my own words right back in my face, Brandon. You were right to, if nothing else, a man should stand by his words. But you've tried to twist them into a cold, logical... You've given my words a meaning that I never dreamed of. Rupert, please. Please, what? Listen to me. Did you think you were God, Brandon? Is that what you thought? Rupert, listen to me. Well, I don't know what you thought or what you are, but I know what you've done. Listen to me. Just listen. Let me explain. Explain? Do you think you're going to explain that? Yes, to you I can, because you'll understand. Understand? Rupert, what? Rupert. You know I'd never do anything unless I did it perfectly. I've always wished for more artistic talent. I... I've turned the dining room into a library. Here's what you wanted, isn't it? Somebody else to know. Somebody else to see how brilliant you are, just like at school. I'm tired. And in a way, I'm frightened, though. Brandon, how... Brandon, how did you feel? When? During it? I don't know, really. I don't remember feeling very much of anything. Until I knew it was over. And then? Then I felt tremendously exhilarated. How did you feel? 